when we're going to write this persuasive essay that we've done, we're going to state our opinion, like what we, what we say, right? In order to get somebody to believe what I'm going to believe, though, I have to have reasons, and then I have to support those reasons. I can't just say, well, I believe it because this, this, and this without giving reasons why. No one's going to take my side. And when I'm writing persuasive, I don't want people to take my side. And then I'm going to remember, what are these fancy words here? Transition Can anybody give me an example of a transition word? Joseph? First. First. That's an easy one. And you were first. Good. Miles? Finally. Finally? Max? Next. Next? Then. Right, Mason. Then, right? And we have a whole list that we use. So Mrs. Tom is like, do I spy transition words in your paragraphs? Right? Our Amplify reading curriculum gives our students many opportunities to write about what they read. This has a huge impact on their ability to understand what they're reading. It allows them to ponder and think about and then apply what they learned in their reading in their writing. What you are seeing in Mrs. Stammen's fourth grade classroom is how her students were able to take all of the knowledge that they gained in a unit about the Middle Ages to write a persuasive paragraph. Bentley, what in your paragraph, when you look at it, in your paragraph, do you think is the best reason that you chose to be a Lord? If you're a Lord, you would live in a castle and devour good food like rabbits, meat, and vegetables. Did anybody hear a vivid verb in that? Did anybody hear a vivid verb in that? Jasmine, did you hear that? Devour. Devour. He could have put eat, but he didn't. You put devour. Very good. What's your favorite sentence on why you want to be the Lord? You can be the boss. You like to be the boss. Can you read your sentence about that? You can be a boss. You can boss people around. And tell why you wouldn't want to be a serf. I love how you did a compare and contrast there, right there. Can you tell that? I wouldn't want to be a serf because you have to work hard day and night. Who wants to do that, right? What rank would you want to be in the Middle Ages? What? What did he start it with? A question. Is that one way we can hook our readers in? It sure is. Okay, what's your biggest reason why? Um, I would want to be a craftsman because you could have respect as a craftsman you get respect you earn money you can earn more and more money right all right let's pick your best reason why what's your best reason why so i can earn money and i have respect i like that i like how she right here i'm reading first i want to be a craftsman because i can get a shop transition word that's her first reason after her topic then she writes next another transition word Next, I can earn um, money and use it for my materials. Then I will be master at building and have a good life. Eventually, I would get fed whoever I, I would get fed whoever I lived with because I would get sent to another home. I love all of the ways she used her transitional words, and you did a nice job at that. She started out hers the same. Would you like to be a surf in the Middle Ages? And most of us are doing this, aren't we? But she's going to persuade me why. Mason, you pick surf too? All right, give me your favorite reasons why. Give me two of them, Emily, okay? You get to mingle with p animals like pigs, sheep, and cows. And You're an animal lover, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you would get to cut down the tan-colored wheat with a scythe. Very good. Now, for some of us, that doesn't sound like so much fun, but for Emily? You just saw the students' persuasive paragraphs. They were able to take all of the knowledge that they learned in class discussions and in reading text about the Middle Ages and combine it all into these wonderful pieces of writing. Okay, in conclusion, let's just, let's just think back. Who can tell me what their favorite part of studying Unit 2 was? What was your favorite part in studying Unit 2? This lesson featured the background knowledge strand of Scarborough's rope which is a key research component of our Amplify series. The lesson also allowed students to showcase how background knowledge strengthened their arguments in their persuasive essays. Families, teachers, coaches, and students, thank you for your support as we move through this journey together.